Well, I'll consider this biology class. Today we will be looking at some very special species. And because most of these are endangered, I only have little talisman or sculptures. So I will start off with a well I have um, one sea creature and one mammoth. Starting off into the water, or more correctly, into the reef. This is the Dutch point headed shark. As you can see, it is streamlined, hence the name. It has a, a cut here, but it's not really a cut. It is something that all sharks have. They are not born with it. But at around age three, they have fully developed the cut. And in divers' um, language, you would call this an angler butt. An angler butt. The shark has typical two fins, one on the back and one on the tail. Normal, just a standard shark tail with extra flaps here and fins here. These sharks also have gills, but these are not used for breeding. Um, well, they are used for breeding, but they are also used for mating, reproduction. And um, how that works, we will be discussing in another class. The shark is typically gray, silvery gray, with a white underside. And a typical shark mouth with one dark tooth. These sharks do not eat fish or any other animal really. They live off of the tears of lost children. And it is a reef shark. Very pretty. So that's that. Now we are going to uh, go on to land. Seems to be a bear. This guy is a Spanish Portuguese rough coated bear. And um, <coughs> this 
casting is actually in um, the, well the size of this is exactly the size of the full grown bear we do not get any bigger other than that they look like your typical grizzly or brown bear with a rough coat and relatively big feet, paws and they don't eat fish but they do eat shrimp and um, they also eat berries but only very small berries like mouth is very small you couldn't bite your finger off if you wanted to so that's that the only peculiar thing about this is actually the size and the shrimp eating going to move into the sky as this is a very very rare eagle it is actually so rare that we currently do not know whether this has already gone extinct These guys have a, oh, I didn't forget to tell you the name of this. This bird is called Jolly. And not just this bird, but this species is called Jolly. It was a, um, a British uh, adventurer who discovered the eagle and uh, his name was John Johnson so he wanted um, and insisted on calling this species John so that's that <coughs> as you can see from the model the John has um, his black eye and a flat head and the black eyes actually is um, from a secret that we used to make um, mascara color so that's why if you buy mascara and you see on the collar it says John's black that's why um, and that is also why these products can't be labeled with not having been tested on animals because this guy already has it in his eyes other than that it's a really mm, gentle substance it's not hurting his or your eye the beak on the john is very sharp um, and he has been known to eat badgers penguins big beetles salmon big and small dogs cats mm. uh, 
baby ants, giraffes, and dolphins leaping out of the water. Hamsters, koala bears, hyenas, and I am painting the whole polar bear and the peanut butter sandwich with paint brown in there once or twice or not. As I said, we have a wingspan of three meters. And for those of you who use, who doesn't use the metric system, you need to start doing so. Um, what else can we say about this guy? Oh yes, he has a white white tail which might lead you to think that this is not a John but a whole other bird which is not the case also the John only exists in male that for the biology class. We will be going into more details about each of these animals in separate classes if you are interested in participating in that. You should send a check and when we have confirmed that you sent the check, the check uh, is marked and that you can make a big brother and money from it, you're gonna get a sent you a letter saying that you can apply for the classes and then you send in the application and when and if you choose to put you in the class depending on how much many free seats you have left. Uh, we can let you know either by phone call or letter. We do not use email here. Then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you got in, then you're going to send us a check. Uh, and then we will send you the date and the location uh, when you arrive for the classes. Every time it's a 10 course class, every time you arrive, you will have to pay the entry fee. So, that's that. We hope to be seeing you again. And uh, take care.